These are workers of the BJP who have been detained. Saga, if you can hear me, I was asking you about the precautionary measures because it all actually started in Mandya and the protest now spreading to Bengaluru. Yes, sir, there is a profitry orders at Mandia as a precautionary measure and uh, as of now, as we, uh, as we just reported that when pro-Hindu activists and BJP uh, workers had tried to get out the DC office, that is the Chief Minister office here in Bengaluru, they were being detained by the cops. As of now, you can see that uh, security has been deployed in Mysore Bank Circle to avoid any kind of untoward incidents or any kind of protest uh, in this particular area. And as of now, everybody has been detailed by the cops uh, as a, pre uh, a precautionary measure. All right. Across uh, Karnataka, there are tensions, uh, given that the BJP uh, Sagai has said that they will be holding protests in different areas, even as we're seeing with these dramatic pictures of these workers of the party being detained right now. Talk to us about which are the other areas which are likely to get affected. Uh, what is the police, in fact, indicating the uh, Kera Godu village also uh, in fact, is uh, is an area where Section 144 has been imposed. Sagai. Absolutely, prohibitory orders has been imposed in Keragodu village of Mandya district, where the entire village, as well as other uh, pro other other uh, uh, district pro Hindu activists and BJP workers, are uh, planning to get out of the Mandya district uh, collector's office because uh, they allege that despite taking permission, despite uh, obtaining all kind of uh, uh, papers on hoisting the Arunal flag at Keragodu village, uh, the government officials as well as Gram officials reached out yesterday and removed Anuman flag and hoisted national flag. They say that it has hurt the sentiments of the people over there because uh, there was a trust, the temple trust which has uh, sought permission and uh, the permission was granted in a government place. But when we spoke to the district commissioner yesterday, I spoke to him over the phone and he categorically said that permission was granted only to hoist national flag and Karnataka flag. There was no permission granted to hoist Saffron Hanuman flag, which is a clear violation. And subsequently, there were complaints which was being registered against this, and they have acted on it and removed uh, the Saffron flag. And instead of that, in a moment hoisted, from now, we'll talk to you about which is according to whether the, the permission was exactly sought or not. Okay, Sagai continues to be with us. Sagai, you were telling us about the permissions in this case. Yes, even Karnataka Chief Minister have uh, uh, tweeted uh, the permission letter which was been granted by the government Bandha. as well as Gram Panchayat. In that particular letter, they have categorically mentioned that they will allow uh, a national flag and one Karnataka flag to be hoisted on that particular pole. Uh, but uh, the, 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 the Panchayat members claim that they have passed a resolution within the Gram Panchayat and they have decided to hoist Hanuman flag and there is no violation. But the Gram Panchayat says that there is a clear violation and they will not allow to hoist saffron flag on this 180 feet uh, uh, pole which was erected recently. The protesters have started across Mandya district, especially in Keragodu village. People are marching towards the district collector's office along with the villages of Keragodu. The supporters, pro-Hindu activists, BJP workers and other supporters are also joining in this particular march and they are also marching towards district collector office and to get out the office on this particular flag grow issue. Right. Sagaraj getting us all of those details from Bengaluru. In fact, not just in Bengaluru, but in Mandi and other areas as well. BJP has announced protests against uh, the administration, against the government, while the police and the authorities, they're trying to bring the situation under control. You can see the melee there and the confusion where several leaders or workers, rather, of the Bharatiya Janata Party have now been detained. This